Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to everyone who is new to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a review of the Navi Cosmetics lipstick line. Um, so this is how they look like. These are the lipsticks. Today I am going to be doing a review and a swatch of them. Um, I just ordered these online not too long ago. I believe it was around the beginning of the month and I got these a few days ago so I am extremely excited to swatch them and review them for you and tell you what I think about them this video is not sponsored I just really wanted to try these out so this is my honest opinion um, so yeah I found these on I believe it was on a YouTube video not too long ago and I was looking through it and I just wanted to try out the line so I went to Amazon and I actually was able to get them for around $9 and the shipping was free and so far the colors look amazing I mean it's more of light pinkish to kind of not really too light pink they have more like purples and reds but not too much purples it's more like reds I, you get what I mean but I am super excited to try these colors and swatch them also, I'm going to be leaving a link of Navi's Cosmetics in the down bar below. Let's get into the video. I'm super excited to swatch these and yeah. Okay, for the first color I am trying on, this is number NLS85 Lollipop. Kind of like a peachy color. Okay, so, so you guys can see it better. I don't know why in the camera it's showing up as like a dark pink, but this is a very, very peachy color. So yeah. So this is how the color looks like once you pack it on a bit. Um, but these colors are very mo moisturizing and I like how the color looks. It is a very peachy color. It's not really showing up in the camera that well, but here's how it looks like one more time. So the next color I am trying is NLS 64 Pure Pink. Now this color looks exactly like the names that it has. This looks exactly like Pure Pink. But this color is a very beautiful pink. It's light pink. I mean, it's if you look at Crayola, the pink color they have, it looks exactly like that. Now this is how the color looks on when it's packed more. The next color I am trying is NLS 63 Rose Rose. Now this color looks like more like a dark pink. Here you go, here's a little look of it. This is how the color looks just with one pass of it. Now for one pass, this color is very opaque and I love this color. It is so beautiful just the way it looks. It is bright and vibrant but at the same time it is not too vibrant that it's like a crazy color like that so I love how this color looks and here's a close-up of it the next color I am trying is NLS 21 and the name is plum now this color looks more metallic it is a plum but it is metallic at the same time this is how the color looks like can tell there by those lines right there that that's metallic now this is just one run of the color the color is very similar to my lip color but I guess it's not as opaque as you see it in the tube I I'm gonna go pack it on and then I'll be back and then I'll tell you what I think about it now that the colors packed on more it is more opaque than at the first time the first run but this is how the color looks like this is very true to its name, kind of like the name they give it, it's very similar to what it is. Um, the color is very plum-like, it is metallic, you can tell. I actually really like this color, it looks very beautiful. The next color I am trying is NLS 37 Sunrise, and this is how the color looks like. I don't really think the name suits it, Sunrise, but okay, we'll go with it. Okay, so one swipe of this color, and this color is extremely, extremely opaque. This is how the color looks like. 
I don't think I have to pack it on anymore. I mean, it is extremely, extremely opaque, like I said. But the color looks very nice. It's more like a, like I said, a mixture between red and brown. I like that these colors stay more, not neutral, but more for like wear. Like you can wear them and it's totally fine. Like people won't look at you weird in any way. Okay, next color. The name of this, the number is NLS14 and the name is red. <laughs> okay, so this is how the color looks like. Again, the color's not showing up to how it looks like. It looks more like pinkish, like a dark pink, I guess you could say. But this is not, it's a red. Okay, so this is how the color looks. I like how this color looks, it's very pretty. And again, more as we move on more to the darker colors, these colors tend to get more and more opaque. And I totally understand because obviously the lighter it is, the more you have to really pack it on. But the darker it is, I think one swipe of it, I mean twice if you just want to make sure. And you're good to go. I mean, this is how it looks like. The next color I have is NLS 28 Sexy Pink. This color is metallic, like the other um, color that I showed you was plum. I remember the name, good. This is it. This is how the color looks like. So this is just one pass of the color, just going by ones. And this is how it looks. Color looks very, I guess in a way you can say orangey in a way. I mean, that's how I see it. I see it more as an orange, pink, a little bit of red mixed in. Now the next and last color is NLS 60 Real Red. Now this color is a deep, deep, deep red. This color is extremely dark. And here's just a little look of it. Now, this is how the color looks just with one pass of it. It is extremely opaque. I mean, of course, you can go back in and do all your touch-ups and all, but this is how it looks. It is extremely opaque, like most of the other colors in, I don't know how to say, in this collection, I guess you would say. But this is how the color looks like. Okay, now this is gonna be a total review of all the colors and how I feel about them, how I feel about the product, what I think about the consistency and everything. Okay. To start off, these colors are extremely, extremely opaque. I mean, for the price of this, I found them on Amazon for about eight to nine dollars, nine dollars I guess you could say. So I found these for nine dollars and it brings eight of them. Now, these colors are extremely opaque, of course, like I said before, when you have lighter colors, obviously it's going to be harder to, um, I guess, not harder, but it's going to be more times that you're going to have to pass it due to the fact that it's a lighter color, so it's going to be harder to really fill in and all of that. But the light colors were pretty opaque too, I mean, with two, three passes, I was already done and it looked pretty good. Now, for the consistency of these, these are extremely moisturizing. They're not oily or anything. They're very soft to the lips. As far as I see, they haven't dried off my lips. And I mean, I've only worn them for a little bit, but as I can tell right now, they haven't worn out, not worn out. They haven't dried off my lips. They're very moisturizing, not oily, like extremely oily, but moisturizing. Um, the colors glide on very nicely. This is the real red, this one, the last one I did. Getting a lot for your money, in a way, it brings this much, I mean, you're gonna get a lot of uses out of that. I love the colors, I love everything about it. I love the tubes, how they're black, and just have that, their sign, which is Nabby Cosmetics. Yes, I would buy these again. This is my serious, honest opinion about these. These colors are amazing. I love all the colors. It has the variety of it. It's not like the colors are not extremely close to each other. So if I wanted to go a little bit lighter, a little bit darker, I have that opportunity of, opportunity of doing that. Metallics, I like them, but at the same time, I don't. I was looking more for like matte colors because if I, of course, if I want to add shine to them, that's something very simple I can do. I just can just put gloss and go. But the shim, the metallic ones that I have, they're shimmery but not too shimmery, which is 
something that I love about them, I guess you could say. I give these a 10 out of 10. I really do like these. And for the price, they are extremely amazing. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review and my honest opinion about these lipsticks. Um, I am going to leave a link in the description box of the website to get those and like I said before you can actually find them on Amazon you can search up Navi's lipstick cosmetics that that way just you get the lipstick I mean they do have the lip pencils too which you can look those up on Amazon or on their website I'm gonna leave a link to their website so you can get them there if you want to search them up anywhere else of course you could go and look them up there so again thank you so much for watching don't forget to thumb up this video if you liked it and to also subscribe to my channel because I am going to be doing a lot more reviews and everything of a lot of cosmetics. The next one I'm doing a review on is the new watercolors that just came out. I found them in Sephora and I bought them and I really like them but I, you gotta watch the review. I am going to be posting that very soon. Um, haven't filmed it yet, yet but I will. Don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know requests that you want to see so any requests of any cosmetics that you would like me to try out or any makeup tutorials or any DIYs that you want me to do just let me know in the comments below and I love you guys don't forget to subscribe bye have a wonderful day